Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é o Aleas, tô aqui no começo do vídeo pra convidar todos vocês aí pra participarem da rifa Amigos do Aleas, mano, uma rifa top pra vocês, de um Macbook, uma faca e também uma luva, mano Três prêmios tops pra vocês e todo o valor aí convertido aí da rifa vai ser pra um investimento no canal, fechou? Então espero todos vocês, primeiro link na descrição, apoia o canal, é nóis galera, fui, bora pro vídeo Fala galera, vocês estão afim de ganhar skin de graça? Soma Case está com a novidade para vocês, são três códigos para você utilizar e o que vier vai ser seu. Caso não tenha o item que você ganhou, você pode trocar no Mart deles por outra. Eles têm diversas caixas no site para abrir também. E se você quiser retirar seu ganho em dinheiro, você pode transferir por Payair, Paypal ou até BTC. Link na descrição. Oh, this is nice. Oh, oh yeah, the Julie's on the roof. But he eats a uh, bullet immediately. Alex looking for those signature Furia pushes. That patient will certainly pay off. Five versus two. It's a strong start for Cloud9 on, a, on the T side of New. Yeah, we have the same veto for this series that we had on that opening day. Obviously, all our games today are repeats, and across at least the uh, the first series, there was the same map pool as well. So a lot of similarities here. Vision that it just makes things really awkward for Cloud9, who are going really fast into this next round, straight into ramp, straight into Honda. Oh my God! The, what is happening right now? So much TK. damage has been done. To be honest, if I was well, floppy, I would have killed Alex as well. So. Another really scary situation on the anti-eco. Yeah, luckily both players are lower. So even though Cloud9 don't know for sure where they've ended up, it's uh, an MTA site, a Heaven Post plant, really powerful position here. S tag dropping in. They've both got guns though. Two AKs picked up from ramp. Definitely giving this one a go. No reason not to. But Mezzi is the linchpin now. Mezzi is the the safeguard. Even if S tag dies, hopefully as long as S tag can make it a one on one, Mezzi can win the round. Running the swing of that flash. Mm. Oh, oh, so fast in these early rounds, despite them not having anything just yet. They don't have a kit on either of these oh, two no, players. Oh no, Mezzi, he's been it's just a 10 second defuse. Surely oh. not as entertaining. That is a very unlikely round of penetration, of course. And down secret they go very quickly indeed. We can see Yuri and Vinny heading down from the ramp towards the B bomb site. Minute 25 on the clock and Cloud9 are Wing all the way to control. They're not the only ones. Three CTs here and Art's fighting the window through the glass. And that's going to draw them in. He backs up ramp, but there's no idea that... No way the Cloud9 know there are two more players here. Art does throw himself back in, which isn't the best play. Alex dead outside with his knife out. Honda holding hell. And now Cloud9, they don't need to hit lower with a player... Uh, uh, sorry, they do need to hit lower with a player dead outside. Their only option is committing secret, and there are two players waiting in the rafters. Yeah, it's a really awkward spot, and then I doubt they'll get another donation, such as you know that Art's kind of move there. <laughs> Art's such a wild card. It didn't even look like he had any crosshair place, like he was even focusing on anything, and <laughs> just like walking out there. Ooh, Thirty so seconds if you, now. If you need that flotation device. You are completely fucked. Bearing in mind they're cooling rods. The radioactivity will be off the chart. Two plays remain for Cloud9. There's a trade meeting that's just S-Tag now with 16 HP. 15 seconds on the clock. We'll see if he tries to preserve what he has. Maybe a high likelihood of more of death though. Whether he's in the water or not. Six seconds and Works and I feel like the for Cloud9 they have actually been successful with um, like use the same smoke wall that we're getting a lot of space outside. They just haven't been you know that successful working under heaven, but they have been able to go down into secret. It seems like that they are still missing some of the utility once they get down there, so they cannot really approach you know B side. Um, we saw the round before where Vinny and was it Yuri standing on top of B-side and just shooting them whenever they came out. But I feel like it's it's such minor details that could have gone their way. So I would probably uh, like still use the same smoke wall or at least fake with it and do something contacting outdoor or could just committing full down secret and you know see if we could have enough uh, utility left once we get down there to 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 approach the site. 
But I'm sure that Alex has uh, another idea of what they, how they're gonna approach the last round. It's like Yuri doesn't even need a crosshair. Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> I was getting so confused. It's just too easy. No crosshair required. Oh, S-Tag, you got me early, but... Their intentions might be... Perhaps retake utility, we can see S-Tag by the garage. Yuri makes his way towards Hell. Oh, oh my god, that was so fast, he couldn't even pull a shot out, but... The rest of his teammates will, and Yuri will get dropped as well as Art. So we've got a 5 versus 3 to start with for Cloud9. But you must finish as you, uh... How does it go? Start as you mean to finish? Something like that, I fucked it up. <laughs> start as you mean to go on. Yeah, something like that, that works. I'll go with that. That's what well, I mean. They started strong. Let's see if they can go on as they try and flood B. Pre plant as well. You don't want to lose too many players here. It could be a problem. There's. Uh, oh, they can go back up. Messi's dropped one, and the flash is really good. Floppy catches another. It's a bit awkward now. Four on one. Honda's stuck in A. Can he get a plant off? He needs to kill Messi quick, but he's not getting given a fight, so. Oh yeah, that's optimistic oh. at best. No, no plants to be had. No, 25 on the clock, and they, they could be on the B-bomb site if they want, but they're just hanging out for now. Art looking for that pick. Great angle there. Super nice, like, right eye angle for him, for S-Tag. And Furia may, uh, may decide to fall back. You know, they've caused a huge rotation, so they are going to try to exploit that now. Fifty-five seconds on the clock. Furia trying to figure out the climate of things around the map. Yuri will be sent on a probe mission. Lots of angles to clear. You can see on the radar, Furia still mostly in the ramp. Yeah, but this is so nice by Yuri because I don't know if they shot the vent upstairs, but he would. He was sitting on top of. Um... When they rush ramp like that, and he was sitting on top of main, he would be able if any of the CTs would just rush down into vent. Just the one for Yuri now. 20 seconds on the clock to plant this bomb. They've only dropped one Cloud9 player, but they might actually get a plant out of this. There's no angle for Alex. The smoke is up for the time being as well. And that may be a question of damage for Furia. Yuri's alone one versus four at this point. In control. Needs to try and isolate fights and avoid getting trade fragged. You see Zephyr's raised the fingers, Alex part the finger lining up though, but the trade is there for Cloud9, surviving with three players, AWP rescued. I'm sure they'll collect another AK as well for Mezzi. I love this spot from S-Tag, I think it is, tucked in the garage. Oh, he's gone out wide, taking art as well, traded from above. It's an ace split, they've got a player in the lobby still. Honda trying to put pressure on. Look at Alex as well, aggressive. In case he wants to try to catch that move, and he does. Oh, team kill in the mix. Yuri works out though. Kills that crew as well. How did that happen? I don't know. Mezzi, big frag, pushing in the hut. He knew Caserata was still lurking about. And now Fury, if they want, they can just drop Vent. That would be a really nice path. They don't know about the Heaven player, and they find out the hard way. Floppy with a peek, and Vidi surely goes lower as well. There's a chance here in the 1v2, he's got the plant. He knows where both of them were. One in heaven, one by Squeaky. Manages to plant a bomb at the very least. You can see where Floppy is. Limited in where he can move due to those flames. Oh, no! Oh. Did he see any of that? Oh, my God! <laughs> what the hell was that? As well, and being someone that takes the initiative. Oh. And that's a crazy opening go. pick. Bam. Catching K Serato, keeping control! Oh, God! <laughs> He's so lucky to be alive. He's going to reface this into art. Art's gone beyond the angle though, and still Alex will find a new angle to take down Art. And that that should really take the wind out of the sails here for Fury. K Serato and Art were in really forward positions. Floppy finds two now as well. That's the bomb under control. Here we go. Cloud nine. Looking good. And Alex also just needed to do that, like for his confidence, I guess, for you know, having only four frags so far and haven't been finding those openings with the orb or having a lot of impact throughout the throughout the rounds and just having one of these rounds with uh, like a double kill like now it just allows him to you know go into that kind of with that kind of confidence for the next round as well where he's not afraid of making the peak or yeah making it a, and some early aggression somewhere that can uh, 
that can win them some some of the rounds that they need to to get back into this game. Good choice by Yuri though to um to say this. We know that they have a buy next round. Vinny will be able to drop art whatever and Caserato would be able to buy for himself. There's the bloody forklift. There's a sign next to main. Watch out for the forklift. Right, there's no forklift anywhere near here, but this is a must win, I would say. Yeah, it's pretty heartbreaking just to see the you know uh, Cloudline lose that round. I, I really have been wanting to see Cloudline make a push like this, but the, the way that Keisharatu is playing the jiggle there is just so so good to counter the kind of slow creep that. Cloud9 were doing so you know he it's it's designed the way case is playing it is designed to be a counter to those kinds of moves so just fury are playing really really well and they're winning some super important clutches too on top of that case are also fast through the wrap floppy oh, owning nice. it very well done Oh, they just oh, walk, they just down, walk down. Yeah, that's yeah. so nice. <laughs> no one. I'm not sure that they. Answer. Yeah, but they have the bomb inside of lobby though, so uh, <laughs> maybe it's all gonna be for nothing. I'm not too sure. Let's see. I think he's gonna wait that smoke out and see if he can get down there, but it's unlikely at this point, I'd say. Like, imagine they had actually had the bomb with them there. Then they would have a decent chance for actually turning this around. No one's watching it, right? Yeah, no so one is down. No one is on B from Cloud9. I guess so depending on something being broken or opened. Unless they the fake board. it and then he walks out, then he shoots the rotation and they come back up in. Could you imagine that? Maybe. No. Oh, Not bad. Good. Let's see. Bomb's moving. Ah, oh, it's too soon. Oh, they oh, hear yeah. that. Alex knows he's got one versus one for a few seconds, but his arc definitely gets there just about. And now Honda's in the one versus three. The bomb has made it, but Will Fury up. What's the scout? How does he avoid getting doubled? Towards Peacock, he goes, opens the door. They're huddling up together, but there'll be no more kills for plays. Not again. And oh, it's going to boost up there. Oh, it's a labored oh spray, and Zeppelin's going to find the better of it. That's not a good look. They're all just trying to spell out of this vent, uh, this door position. Oh, oh, we can see Gray, but Honda out of the hunt. All that distraction. Honda found his moment. Two versus two after plant here. Such a critically important round for both teams. Ooh, oh, such timing. a nice smoke. Yeah. Great for CTs. You can see Floppy creeping up, trying to play off a vest tag, but he can't find the angles. Still up against the AK and a Galil now. Honda facing and Case Rato's in the red. He's got 14 HP. The Molotov's gonna go beyond him. He's already ahead of it, but it is planted for Case Rato. Fighting <laughs> in to the back. Here we are, five lobby. It's our bread and butter. Oh, look for the pig. Oh, the chance is gone. And look at that. The swing. Zeppo ready for that one. Oh, okay. So also trading through that, of course. That makes a lot of sense. And four versus four now, over a minute to go. Fury have a lot of time to reposition or to reset. To really set up whatever they want. I don't think Cloudman are going to be pushing anywhere. They're just going to have to wait. <laughs> he uses like 30 bullets through that in order to kill him. Oh, did it hear him? Do it again. Just wondering that Do it again. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. They've got default yard smokes out, but you can see Alex is playing that like boomage pixel gap, dropping the smoke, hoping to run away. I've seen a lot of players die from Shock just getting pre-fired there. Oh, this is nice. Just can't take an outdoor like this. Take. Oh, is he gonna take the attention here? No. Oh, it's ball. Just to walk out like this. Oh, oh my, my day. That's it. it's a slaughter, it's an abattoir. Get the meat hooks out, baby. Floppy and Alex left, and Alex has just got a desert eagle. They know where Floppy is, and they've got all the information now. Reload herd, Floppy focusing on Sweet Eva. Case Rattle push for a smoke, because why not? 
two versus one now as Alex has found an upgrade. Here comes a two-man swing, and it will be 16 to 14.